Tonight, detectives are done processing the scene of that deadly grocery store shooting in Boulder. King Supers will now begin repairing that store. Good evening, I'm Jim Benneman. And I'm Karen Lee. Now, at the same time, the union says Kroger, the company that owns King Supers, is not meeting the needs of its employees. The memorial still stands outside that store. We reported last week that the company met with workers about resources, emergency compensation, and options for returning to work. Well, now the union says it is concerned that some of those benefits could end too early. Connor Riku joins us live from Boulder tonight to talk more on this. And Connor, how are employees feeling about the proposals that are being floated around? Well, Karen, the employees we spoke with aren't as critical as the union, but they are confused and a bit concerned moving forward with how all of this is going to go. They tell us they have questions about when their paid leave will come to an end, when they will be asked to return to work, whether it be at this store or at another one, as well as how mental health resources will be handled moving forward. I managed to run out of the store within the first 30 seconds, just hearing gunshots the whole time. As a gunman opened fire at the Table Mesa King Supers, Paul Johnson narrowly escaped. I keep thinking, oh, I'm getting better, and then it all comes back. I can hear the gunshots again. For now, Johnson and other employees remain on paid leave, but in staff meetings last week, the company told them compensation could end April 24th. Employees can transfer to another store while the building is renovated. I don't know when I'm going to be able to just be in a public, enclosed space again. I don't think I can feel um, comfortable or safe returning to work for, for a while. Connor Hall is also an employee and the shop steward for the local seven workers union. We're, we're being put in a position where we have to choose, do we do what's right for our mental health or um, do, we, do we get our paycheck? And I. Uh, and I think that's it's a it's a it's a cruel position to, to put people in. In a letter to Kroger last week, Local 7 leadership said the company's proposal, quote, woefully fails to meet the needs of the workers, saying if paid leave ends on the 24th, it will force them to return to work at another store or lose pay or forfeit seniority. In a response to CBS4, a King Super spokesperson cites a community resource center open six days a week, saying, We will also continue to support our associates with paid emergency leave in addition to any employment benefits they were already receiving. Together with our associates, customers, and community will grieve and heal. Even though I'm not in the union, I support them. Moving forward, Johnson and Hall hope for more transparency and continued resources. It's going to take a lot of time for us to to get where we need to be. What the company is offering us is woefully inequipped to, to meet those concerns, especially going in into, into the long term. Now, within the last 20 minutes, we did just hear from King Supers with some more answers about how this is going to go moving forward. A spokesperson confirms that paid leave will continue until at least the 24th. After that, the company will make decisions about how to move on after that. Uh, they also tell us that a resource team, a human resource team, will work with each associate one on one to understand their needs and desired timeline to return to work. And as for the question of when this will open, they say it has been turned over to King Supers, but they have not made any decisions on that yet. Live tonight in Boulder, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.